Today we celebrate the patron saint of toasts. To raise a glass and to, and to um, toast in Italian is called brindisi. <laughs> brindisi. I think it goes back, I've been told, to the fact that the Romans had a port in the town of Brindisi. So today we celebrate St. Lawrence of Brindisi. I think it's just coincidental because he's from Brindisi. But he was a Capuchin. He was born July 22nd, 1559 on the Feast of St. Mary Magdalene. And he died exactly 60 years later, July 22nd, 1619. He was a Capuchin Franciscan priest. He preached fluently in Italian, French, Spanish, German, Greek, Hebrew, and Latin. Imagine that. He was so learned that he was sent to Rome specifically to, I guess you could say, dialogue with the Jewish people in Rome. And because of his gentle manner and peaceable character, he won many converts to Christ. That is, I should rather say, he was able to show the people that Jesus came from, those that he loved so much because they were his own, that Jesus is the fulfillment of what they've been longing for. We see this kind of message being proclaimed in the gospel too. Jesus saying that this is the fulfillment, that that there is a fulfillment of God's word, and it's a fulfillment that sends out a messenger who's not beating people up, not trying to convert them by the sword, not shaming them or condemning them, but loving them. Loving them so that they might come to see what it is that they've been missing. It's often been said, you cannot give up the counterfeit, right, unless the authentic is revealed to you. Right? In other words, when people, let me give you an example, when people who in the government are used to figuring out what a counterfeit $100 bill looks like, They don't study the counterfeits, they study the real one. And they study the real one so much that as soon as a counterfeit shows up, they're able to say, nope, that's not it. Likewise, we today are called to be authentic lovers of people. So that, like St. Lawrence of Brindisi, like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ... Encountering our love, they will encounter God. And encountering God, they'll quickly give up what they realized was not God. It's that simple. It might sound a little too simplistic, but think about it. Where God is, error, sin, the devil, all has to flee. Wherever God is. Now, the enemy tries to like sometimes confuse us and distract us and that kind of a thing. But where God is, the enemy cannot stand. So when people come to experience what's true and authentic, they can easily give up that which was not authentic, that which was not the truth. So we pray today, we ask our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to touch our hearts, especially with his authentic love in the Eucharist, as he takes flesh for us to be able to receive him, not just spiritually, but also corporally, right? And that as we do that, that he might melt away from us anything that's not authentic in him, that it might be purified. And as such, that he might send us out, like St. Brindisi, excuse me, St. Lawrence of Brindisi, to be able to be that same kind of gentle, loving messengers of his peace that Jesus models for us. Amen.